Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I am actually a certified personal trainer and fitness enthusiast. I have been on a wellness journey for about four years now. However, I would say that I've probably seen the most progress in my fitness journey within the last year. And a big part of that has been really focusing on eating clean and my nutrition. And I thought today it might be kind of fun to talk to you guys about some of my favorite packaged snacks that I eat on a daily basis, because I think that eating clean is so, so important if you want to make progress and honestly just feel the best in your body. Consuming whole foods, fueling yourself with the correct nutrition always will make you feel better. I will also say that since I've started eating cleaner, my skin has gotten so much better. So I just thought it would be a helpful video for any of you guys who are on a fitness journey to maybe just get an idea of some healthy snacks that you can pack in your bag. I'm just going to be bringing you guys through literally like my massive snack tub and I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my go-to whole snacks that are high protein, minimal ingredients that I absolutely love. So this video is going to be in absolutely no particular order. So the first thing is just some trail mix. This is great. I often find myself snacking on this right before I go to bed for just a little bit of a snack. So I love trail mix because it is higher fat and it also has those carbs from the dried fruit. So it's not super high protein. This is 150 calories for three grams. But one thing that I really wanna stress is ingredients over macros. I used to be so obsessed with literally just thinking that I needed to get one gram of protein in for like every 10 calories is something you'll hear a lot. But once I actually started focusing on what I was eating and making sure that I knew what was in every nutrition label, I immediately noticed a change in my body and my energy and things like that. Add this to yogurt bowls, oatmeal in the morning. Next thing is a recent find from the grocery store, but I am obsessed and it is these Catalina crunches. Guys, I love cereal. Cereal is probably one of my favorite foods. And so finding a healthier alternative that is not only high protein, but high fiber is huge. Fiber is something that I really started to focus on over the summer. I have the dark chocolate one here, cinnamon toast one. The macros on this is absolutely crazy. It's 110 calories for 11 grams of protein. Also, it has a pretty short ingredient label which is something that I always look for as well. These taste so yummy. I always add them to yogurt bowls. You can eat them with just regular like almond milk, milk, whatever, would highly recommend. And then something else, I also really like these Sweet Thin Honey Cinnamon Grams. These are basically graham crackers, but they're from the brand Simple Mills. Simple Mills is such a good brand if you guys are looking for brands that have more healthy whole ingredients. And these are such a good swap for regular graham crackers. So if you ever wanna just add like a little bit of a sprinkle of this on top again of yogurt bowls or just eating it plain, maybe drizzling some chocolate on it and making it more of a s'more idea, I think just like having these healthier alternatives to things that you might already have in your pantry is so good Literally, it says nothing artificial ever which is amazing because we do not do artificial sweeteners here I definitely noticed that once I cut out artificial sweeteners my skin automatically got better So that's something else to keep in mind as well Coffee break Okay, speaking of coffee, this actually lends into our next product, item, snack, whatever you wanna call it. And it is these Owen pre-made protein shakes, I guess, not smoothies. But these have been amazing for me to add into my coffees for a bit of extra protein. So if you guys didn't know, I don't eat dairy and that is really just for my skin. It's not for anything else. It's literally just because dairy breaks me out. And so that means that I do lack a little bit of protein. So I found these, I get them at Target. They are literally 
amazing. So this one is literally 32 grams of protein for 190 calories. And what I love is that there is no whey protein. And then this one is vanilla, which again, I love using this for coffees. And also you can even use it for matchas because I made a protein matcha with it the other day. So this is absolutely amazing for those of you who are might also be dairy free or you can literally just grab these on the go such quick protein pretty good ingredients and also five grams of fiber which is always nice um quickly i'm just going to show you this goes along with the first one pre-packaged walnuts almonds and dried cranberries again perfect on the go snack now i'm going to get into protein bars so like i just mentioned i do not do dairy which also means i don't do whey protein and a lot of times the majority of the protein bars that you'll find on the market are unfortunately whey i will say that they have the best macros but not always the best ingredients so that is what we're focusing on today are these bars that have good ingredients but also pretty decent macros so i'm going to talk to you guys about some of my favorites so first up, we have Good RX bars. I love these bars. They are literally such simple ingredients. Like I will read to you the ingredients on this one. It's literally just dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, vanilla beans, sea salt, and natural flavors. That's all that's in here. And that is why I love them. And this one is 190 calories for 12 grams of protein, which I definitely think that like old me would have been like, that's not even that much protein, like we could do better. And it's like, sure, you could probably do better if you just get a regular protein bar, like pure protein, a Bear Bells, something like that. But with that, you're also going to get sugar alcohols and other added ingredients that you literally don't even know what it is. And just to be clear, I'm not trying to demonize any kind of food and make it sound like there's good, there's bad, and everything in moderation. So if you wanna have like one of those protein bars, go for it, you guys. This is literally just a video suggesting and show you guys some of the healthier snacks that I personally choose. But this is the vanilla almond, which is really good. And then I also have blueberry. I love their peanut butter chocolate ones. And then next up we have, guys, these are my all time favorite snack, favorite protein bar. I found them probably earlier this year from Walmart and it is IQ bars. I probably should have started the video with these because they are my love, they are my child. So we have the chocolate sea salt and the peanut butter chip. I also have lemon blueberry flavor, which I didn't even know like they had this flavor. And then they also have a toasted coconut chip flavor as well. They also have some other flavors too, like they have an almond butter chip. And I think that they even have a pumpkin spice, but I've not tried that. The reason why I love these is because again, the ingredients are simple, but the macros are actually really good as well. It's 160 calories for 12 grams of protein, which is pretty good. And there's even lion's mane. There's also magnesium, vitamin E, a bunch of other stuff. There's also a pretty decent amount of fiber in here which is something i love i love it when it's high protein and high fiber it's just like the perfect combination there's nine grams of fiber which is amazing these are so yummy they actually taste really good which is one thing i noticed about vegan bars or just like bars that aren't just like your basic chalky protein bar is like these are not chalky next up we have that's it bars these are literally just dried fruit bars but I love them. They literally are just the perfect thing for on the go if you're craving a little bit of some sweetness, of some fruit, but you don't, maybe you don't have like an apple on you, but you just want something quick and easy. Um, there's tons of flavors. This is from Costco, so you can get the big bags from Costco, but also get like smaller bags from Walmart. Next up, we have a recent find, but I freaking love and it is these chicken sticks. So there's a couple varieties in here. We have chomps, which I do not eat beef or red meat, and that's just more for like ethical reasons than anything. So I always get the turkey ones. So this is literally 12 grams of protein for 80 calories. And then I also have the different varieties here. I'm not sure exactly where this is from, maybe 
Costco. So there's just this original one. These are basically just smaller versions. It's 50 calories and I think six grams of protein. And then there is also a honey jalapeno flavor as well, which is super good. And this is the brand Mighty Spark. Next up, we have another really good one. These are Mama Chia's. So these are little chia seed packets. If you guys didn't know, chia seeds are super high in fiber and fat, but also have a little bit of protein as well, but that's not really the main focus. So these are 70 calories for two grams of protein, but it is essentially literally just chia seeds with some strawberry puree. And something I would recommend is like, maybe mixing one of these with a meat stick is like you're getting your fiber you're getting your fat but you're also getting your protein from the meat stick mixing and matching any of these snacks as well is a super good idea because i know that a lot of these are like super low calorie so they might not be super filling but if you mix them together it can be a more filling and satiating snack all right we are nearing the end of this snack video but we have this is one of my favorites too i don't know why to add this towards the beginning but these are dried edamames i love dried edamames they are so freaking good they're super high protein this is 114 calories which seems like a oddly specific number for 14 grams of protein and you also get five grams of fiber which is super good they are low carb and it's literally just edamames, sea salt, and soybean oil. So these are such a good snack. The last thing I will just quickly include, we have tuna packets. These are pre-packaged, literally just throw them in your bag. And if you are needing some more protein at a meal, maybe you got a salad, but it doesn't like have that much protein on it. 110 calories for 16 grams of protein so good they come in different flavors as well this is urban garlic but personally i just prefer regular and then also just some dried fruit always a good little snack all right guys so that is pretty much it for this video i hope that this was helpful for you guys especially maybe those of you guys who live busier lives maybe you're a college student a mom or you just have a busy schedule it can be kind of hard to find time to get in good snacks you know you can think that eating healthy can be hard and time consuming and you don't really know where to start i think that literally just stocking your pantry and having these healthier snacks to grab when you do get hungry is so important because i think that a lot of times it can be hard for us to reach our fitness goals because when we do get hungry we kind of just reach for the first thing in front of us instead of being as mindful which again, I just want to say that like having it some Cheez-Its, you know, having like um, a cookie, like all of that is literally part of the journey and part of the balance. But if you can switch some of those into some of these healthier snacks, it will go a long way. So I hope this video is helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more health, fitness content, food content, anything like that, let me know and I can do it for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.